Thank goodness for a backup battery. We're doing season one, episode three of Ultron Legendary Defender, Return of the Gladiator. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. So we start off with Zarkon is absorbing uh, quintessence and then because where the team is bickering a little bit and then you know they deal with really gross food like it's green no then we cut to where Hawk is going to go fix some food and make it better and then we cut to where Pigeon Share wait for the prisoners to wake up then um Hawk made some really good food and then the locals are uh, coming towards the castle so Laura goes to talk to them and they think that the lion goddess is mad and they think Voltron is the lady okay I don't know what Voltron is actually, so I know it's a robot, but to me it's a dude, but I don't know. Actually. Anyway, so they go to the village and then because where Pidge talks to the prisoners and tells and one of the prisoners tells Sure that he was a gladiator and they had to fight and that he beat up um, and injured Pidge's brother. <laughs> and uh Sure took his place after you know and sure took his place. Then uh, we go to the village and it's super cute and they do a dance of apology but Lori says like that's not necessary and so they like, oh you want to do a sacrifice? Because we'll do a sacrifice. She's like no the dance apology is fine. <laughs> and Lori tries to apologize to them and then Bitch and Shiro uh, check the log on the ship and trying to download information and so basically uh, they went to the ship that crashed. And then we see that there's a ship approaching. Pitch only got to 50% and um, they had to bail. And then the lions save them. And then basically um, the gladiator attacks them and they form Voltrons. But this gladiator is like a certified monster now. And um, Hacker like transformed him into something completely different. But Shiro did remember it. So they form Voltron and have a really cool action scene, but they're starting to fail. Then Shiro's stepping up his gain and they need a sword. And then Keith Lyon has an idea and a sword appears. Uh, thanks to the Bayard. And then we cut to where they destroyed it and the witch is very pissed. <laughs> and then Sendak is still in the area and he's going to go after them. Then the prisoners leave on one of the um, ships that Allure has. And then Shira remembers he uh, basically he hurt Pidge's brother, so they would choose him. And he knows Pidge is actually Katie, which is um, actually the little sister, but she's spoken, posing as a boy. And he said he won't tell. Um, he won't tell them. So anyway. That's an episode. Um, really good episode. I actually really enjoyed it. I gave it an A plus because we started to figure out why um, we saw that picture in the last episode. And it was actually Katie, not, hit, not a girlfriend or anything. Um, it was actually her and her older brother. So um, anyway, I'm very, I'm, hmm, can't really talk today. <laughs> Working on it. Um, but I thought it was a really good episode. The action scenes were really cool, and the fact that our, um, that Shiro figured out the um, the moves and stuff, it was able to um, figure it out and to defeat the monster. I thought that was really neat as well. And I just like this series a lot. So anyway, that's what I do for this episode. So if you like this episode, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree, tell me your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, everybody.